to the vaccine rollout. New numbers from the CDC out just moments ago show that more than 15 million doses have now been distributed, but only about 4.5 million have been given to people. This disappointing pace is leading health officials to explore alternatives to get shots into arms faster. Meg Terrell is here now with the very latest. Meg, welcome back. What are we learning? Hi, Kelly. Well, these new numbers are not inspiring a whole lot of confidence. You're looking at less than 30 percent of the doses that have gone out actually getting into people's arms. And that's a little bit of even a slower pace than we'd seen in the previous update. But the expectation is over the coming weeks that should increase. We heard from CDC's Dr. Nancy Massonier last week about why the initial rollout is a bit rocky. She noted these are new vaccines and they have slightly complex handling requirements. She also pointed out, of course, public health departments are incredibly strained health providers as well with just taking care of COVID patients now trying to handle this massive vaccination campaign on top of that. And of course, the winter holidays. Uh, we heard from Dr. Robert Califf, uh, the former FDA commissioner this morning on Squawk on the Street, who pointed out he expects that the numbers will start to look like a hockey stick graph, you know, pretty flat at the beginning, but really should start to shoot up over the coming weeks. Of course, that's what everyone hopes for. Meanwhile, there is a lot of discussion about how to get more vaccine available for folks. And there are a few ideas is about how. Uh, Operation Warp Speed's Dr. Monsef Slawi talking about the idea that you could give two half doses of Moderna's vaccine to people ages 18 to 55 because in clinical trials, uh, they showed an identical immune response at a 50 microgram dose to a 100 microgram dose. Meanwhile, over in the UK, they are talking about spacing out the first and second doses of both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccines to at least 12 weeks. Now, that's eight weeks more than was tested uh, in trials, at least of the Pfizer vaccine or nine weeks for the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, so that is raising some eyebrows. Uh, in terms of supply, you know, everybody wanting to make sure that more vaccines available, Moderna out with a welcome update today saying that it's now increased its expected supply uh, baseline for this year to 600 million doses, uh, with the top being a billion doses of the range there. Previously, they uh, planned on making at least 500 million, uh, and they do plan to deliver 200 million to the U.S. Uh, by the end of the second quarter. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.